This video is part of a series that I like to put out each week called One Play Wednesday, where I look at interesting concepts or noteworthy plays from across the NFL. I try to do Ravens or Lions-oriented ones when I can. I felt like I had covered both of those teams at length, but through watching some of the Lions offense film against the Chiefs early Wednesday morning, I stumbled upon this sequence of plays. Uh, this is one particular play that I want to show is Sione Vaki, a six or seven yard run out of twin, a formation I call twin slots, 11 personnel formation on the fourth possession of their game against the Chiefs. And what I want to do is show how the Chiefs defend it in multiple ways across early part in the game. When I say it, I mean the formation. So this is twin slot. It's a six yard gain, Sione Vaki, one cut downhill. Backside nickel defender and backside inside linebacker both make the tackle. When I call it twin slot, in case you're unfamiliar, you got twins up here. They happen to be stacked. Slot meaning slot tight end and the Z receiver who's on the line. Twin slot B to be precise. So this is the play we're actually talking about in order to adequately cover it and get you to understand the point that I'm trying to make and how they how the Chiefs defend formations differently depending on the alignment. I want to go back in time a little bit. This is actually second possession. The first time that they saw this formation, this 11 personnel twin slot, obviously the, the play is flipped here in terms of left to right orientation. Now we're right to left, but it's the same exact setup. Ball on the right hash, slot tight end to the right, back opposite of that, so B gun, and then Twins down to the field. So twin slot B, once again, they're going to blitz Drew Tranquil off the edge. Tight end on a little shoot route. It's going to be wide open. I think it ends up going for six or seven yards. No play fake with the running back. Reynolds is going to help deal with that blitzer. Sudfeld, quick recognition, getting the ball out. Maybe it only went for five. But the point is, first time they saw twin slot B, Chiefs bringing pressure, five-man pressure, playing man, locking up. With Trent McDuffie here, outside corner here, and nickel or strong safety there. End zone angle, same or end zone angle, same play. You can see the five man blitz nature of it. They're blitzing to the tight end side, to the boundary, the first time that they saw it. Again, these are the Chiefs starters. You got Leo Chanel on the field, Dana is down there. Karloftis is one of the other defensive ends. Tranquil is a starting inside linebacker. McDuffie is the guy who's locked up here, I think, with Caden Davis right now. So you've got starters on the field, second possession, when the Chiefs were able to get out to a 6-0 lead. Moving forward, third possession, still have most star mostly starters on the field for the Chiefs. Very similar formation, not twin slot, technically pro, pro slot, but tight end into the boundary, running back to the field. This time you have an RPO, Back to the field, away from the tight end. Ball's on the left hash this time. Here's the, here's the tight end. I think it's Mitchell, and he's just going to run the little replace. Running back cross in the face of the quarterback mesh. Both of these inside linebackers stepping up like it's a run concept. Quick completion over the middle to Mitchell, basically replacing those two inside linebackers. Last thing to mention here. In terms of this formation, again, it's not the exact same formation as the play that I want to spend most of the time talking about. On Play Wednesday, these videos I normally want to be five to seven minutes, so we're probably going to be approaching eight with this one. Is the nickel defender so far in both of these iterations with the back to the field to twins, same side as twins, has not blitzed. End zone angle, same play, and you'll see the nature of the inside linebacker step. That's not tranquil on the field. My apologies. It is still uh, Leo Chanel, who's very underrated as an inside linebacker, if you ask me. I think he was out of Wisconsin. So now we're back to the play that we originally want to talk about that I showed you in the beginning. Check out these guys echoing some type of call, and then the nickel defender to the field turning in to look or possibly hear them. And then watch what he does and how it relates to the end of this play. Or the fact that this play is, quote, stopped for only a six-yard game. I thought it was closer to seven. I had the ball on the 15 and a half pre-snap. And then I had the ball on the 22 for the, for the next snap. But, you know, my, my, maybe I'm a, a little bit um, unscientific there. But as it stands, the backside nickel defender is going to be on a blitz. The field size safety is essentially going to 
step down to replace. Vaki's path is horizontal. It's like a sweep path here. Then he's going to make a, a very distinct cut downhill. The slot tight end who was to the boundary is going to cut the D into the field. It's 91. I'm not even going to try to say his name, but I know he was drafted in 2023 NFL draft, I think out of Kansas State. Ends up being a six-yard gain. So they've defended it multiple ways, this formation in particular. You're talking about five, six, maybe even seven-yard gains out of each, each instance of it. What I like about the play is they've already run the RPO to the tight end. Now it was flipped. The tight end was on the offense's left. In this case, the tight end's on the offense's right. But theoretically, you could get the same setup. Running back crossing the face. Tight end running a little replace. See if the inside linebackers, whichever one the quarterback, in this case Sudfeld, is reading, see if they step up. If they do, throw it over top of their heads. If they don't, then hand the ball off. That's not exactly what it is here because you've got tight end working like a split zone look. So There's no read here, even though it partially looks like it. This guy's trying to block the nickel defender, which is impossible because the nickel defender is on auto blitz. And lo and behold, he's the guy who ends up making first contact almost four and a half, five yards downfield. Were it not for that blitz call, were it not for the nickel running inside leverage of, of, the, of the split end who's on the line of scrimmage, can't move until the ball is snapped. Were it not for the nickel defender diving inside like that, this play ends up being pretty much a one-on-one -on -one for Vaki and this backside inside linebacker. And, and based on what we've seen so far out of him, he's either going to make people miss or break tackles. You're probably looking at an eight to 10 yard gain if they didn't make that call. I like to go back and look at, I, I, I tag and designate the formations in my game notes. If you're in my Patreon or my discord, you know that I shared it this week. I like to go back and look at formations and then grab those formations, five, six, seven different iterations of it. And then go look at how the team defended it. Oftentimes, you'll see teams that will defend it. Let's say it, let's say twin slot was run, that formation was run eight times. Oftentimes, you'll see a, a defense defend it the same way six out of those eight times. Here's the backside nickel, by the way. And there's the backside inside linebacker. You can see the space that's been created. Only thing is the backside nickel is on a free run, sees the ball handed off and is able to help them limit the play to only six yards. But in terms of the formations and how I track it and how I tried to relate it to this one play Wednesday is this could have been a bigger play. Maybe it shouldn't have taken me seven and a half minutes to say that, but this was a really nice setup, really nice concept, especially the tight end from the boundary, cutting the defensive end to the field. Chiefs just happened to be in a really nice call. Whatever those safeties were doing by motioning their hand, putting their hands above their head and clasping them together, almost like the Florida Gators chomp, I think maybe. That triggered the nickel on a blitz, and that is what was the primary reason that this only went down as a six- or a seven-yard gain. In any case, one play Wednesday is something I try to do each week. If you have suggestions in a given week, feel free to let me know in the comment section of my, my game reaction videos. If you have suggestions for one from last week, let me know. They're five- to seven-minute videos generally. This one went on a little bit long, focusing on a concept. And I felt like in this case, in order to adequately explain why... <clears throat> why I thought this concept was a little bit cooler, a little bit more interesting than maybe just your, your arbitrary six-yard gain is, is because of the way the Chiefs happened to defend it on this particular play versus the prior two iterations of Twin Slot V. In any case, if you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comment section if you think other Lions fans would enjoy this quick look at one concept that Ben Johnson and the Lions used in their win, their 24-23 win over the Chiefs, then please consider grabbing a link to this video, sharing it out on social media to help this content get more reach.